Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alexander Misner and uh, first of all uh, let me say thank you to everyone who have shown support in the month's petition. Your backing is very important to us uh, in order to persuade the government. And for me personally it gives uh, a lot of psychological support, confidence and reassurance that uh, I am on the right track and I have to continue with my journey all the way until I will get justice. I prepared the uh, short statement which I would like to read to you right now. I strongly feel that I have been repeatedly denied my basic human rights. Rights to have a life with the woman I love. The decision to deny me an opportunity to be united with my fiancé is cruel inhumane, unjust, and simply shows no common sense. The only justifiable reason to deny me rights in this case would have been if the system could say the needs of many outweigh the needs of a few, and that is because your fiancé presents a danger to this country. If this were the case, I would have to accept it even though it would still be very painful and difficult, but it just would have made sense. However, it is not the case here. My fiancé is not a criminal. She presents the immigration department with all the requested criminal clearances from all countries she has ever lived in. Furthermore, she is not a threat to Australia from the health point of view as she passed her medical examination with officially appointed medical professionals. Therefore, I do not see any justifiable reason to suppress my human rights. This has been going on for much too long, and I simply cannot handle this pressure any longer. My health is deteriorating from all this stress. I cannot sleep. I am constantly depressed and desperate. This is not the way that civilized country should be treating its citizens. There is a legal process in place that I went through without any complaints for two years and it has failed me. I should not be begging and pleading in order to get something which are my human rights. I have been a registered voter for many years and have never asked for anything. On June 23rd, I will commence a hunger strike. I will consume no food or water until my human rights are served. I will carry out my hunger strike in a public sphere and will make myself available to the media. This time, before I will make my decision on who to vote for, I will consider which of the parties really cares about human rights. I will get justice, or I will die trying. I will continue to update all of you on the progress of this struggle. I will try to post short videos or messages daily as long as my physical condition will allow me. Thanks again to all of you for all your support and please keep backing us and spread the word. We need to get engaged as many people as possible. Thank you. I think it's done.